You can actually burn wood to grow food organically, easily, cheap. Biochar is an interesting substance. It's that stuff somewhere between wood and ash that makes the perfect home for microbes that your plants need to grow big and strong. When making biochar, you're gonna get some ash, and ash adds essential elements and nutrients to your soil, but biochar is about adding living microbes. This is next level stuff. You don't need a lot of biochar, it's just a fertilizer additive to your soil, but using biochar takes your green thumb to another level while still being completely organic and natural. In this video, I'm gonna go over the ancient history of terra preta soil, which is basically biochar, and how it helps your plants to grow today, and then show how I easily make and collect piles of biochar cheaply with my outside wood boiler for my greenhouse, which I use in my pots to grow plants. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel, and we have piles of other free videos on growing and greenhouse technology you can check out after watching this video just by hitting that free subscribe button. If you look around YouTube today, you're gonna to see all kinds of weird methods people use to make biochar. Some people cook it with a turkey roaster inside their wood stove. Yeah, I'm not kidding. More than one person does this. Others dig out a big pit and burn up tons of wood to create enormous amounts of biochar. In this video, I'm gonna show how I really don't do anything extra outside of my normal routine to make piles of usable biochar with my outside wood burning stove. Oddly, in the Amazon basin, the indigenous soil isn't very fertile. You'd think a rainforest would have incredible soil. Nope. Farming communities from 1,000 to 2,500 years ago created a solution by adding biochar, tiny pottery shards, bone, compost, and manure to the low fertility soil. The result was terra preta, known the world over as one of the most fertile soil type materials to grow food in. Terra Preta shows high levels of microorganic activities, withstands leaching, and holds moisture in soil unlike almost any other type of soil out there. This enhanced soil supported an Amazonian civilization for centuries, and the soil still exists today. Terra Preta, when done right, seems to last for hundreds of years, unlike other topsoil fertilization methods, and lets you just keep growing food year after year without adding much else to the soil. The primary ingredient of terra preta is charcoal, also known as biochar, which is what we're talking about today. So what is biochar? Biochar is a charcoal-like substance that's made by burning organic material from agricultural and forestry wastes, also called biomass, in a controlled process called pyrolysis. Okay, what the heck does that mean? Pyrolysis is the thermal decomposition of materials. Basically, it means burning without fire. You heat wood to form charcoal, but not fully burn it. If you burn wood all the way, you get ash. But if you try to burn wood in an oxygen-deprived environment, the wood turns to charcoal before turning to ash. That's pyrolysis. Think of it as part of the burning stages, with wood as the fuel, and we stop the process before all the fuel is gone. That's charcoal. And charcoal is basically biochar. As we know, to create biochar, one deprives burning wood of oxygen and then collects the wood once it turns to charcoal, but before it turns to ash. Timing is everything. And although wood ash serves as a source for potassium and calcium carbonate, biochar is an entirely different material, offering different benefits to your plants than ash. Biochar is often made in a big pit outside, but controlling oxygen in such a setting can be difficult. What's cool is an outside wood boiler furnace, like the one I have, opens and closes an air gate to control the fire, heating water to a specific temperature. But this process also acts as pyrolysis, depriving the burning wood from oxygen, making the 
perfect environment to create spectacular biochar. Win-win. Okay, biochar right out of the fire is basically just charcoal. The same stuff you cook your steaks on with your barbecue. It won't help much to just throw raw charcoal on your plants or mix it into the soil. For best results, you need to activate the biochar. Activating biochar makes it special. See, ash is about adding nutrients to your soil, but biochar is about adding biology. As the name implies, biochar. The tiny holes in the charcoal not only act as a sponge for water, but also as a home for a variety of microbes. And as it turns out, most plants we eat thrive in living soil. So the more beneficial microbes you can put into your soil, the better your plants do. That's why biochar is special and unlike other fertilizers. Biochar provides a long-term home in your soil that microbes can live and thrive in for decades. Now, if you just throw charcoal into your soil, it can help. But if you inoculate the biochar, you'll get much better results. Activating biochar is basically combining your charcoal with a material that has a high amount of microbial activity. The best option I know is manure, you know, cow poop. To make things simple, I just added equal amounts of charcoal and manure with a little water into a barrel and mixed it up. The microbes from the manure find homes in the charcoal. And if you let it sit for a couple weeks, you end up with a mixture of manure and charcoal that you can solidly call biochar now. Add this to your soil at about 5 to 10% total volume, and you now got living microbial soil. This all sounds great, but what's the downside? Biochar doesn't work with all soils. Biochar seems to work best with acidic soils. Studies done in Saskatchewan show little improvement to Canadian wheat crops after adding biochar. Now, not much was said about if the biochar was actually activated, and that might have made a difference, but the results weren't encouraging. Biochar seems to work best with leafy plants. Many grasses haven't gotten great results. Corn being the notable exception, as corn is often classified as a type of grass, but corn does have some large leafy green leaves on the plant, when you think about it. To me, Biochar is something you should add to your soil in an attempt to get more natural in your growing medium. Plants like microbes, and biochar is one of the best ways to increase microbial content in your soil. At Simple Tech, our mission is to provide you with free videos on greenhouse and growing technologies. Your comments help make new videos and expand simple growing technology for everyone. There's piles of other free videos on this channel you should check out.